United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan. The U.S. killed Al Zawahiri in one of the most hyped up drone attacks. But is there a legal justification for U.S. over the horizon operations in Afghanistan? In August 21, UNSC adopted Resolution 2593 that bound the Taliban to prevent threats from terrorist groups. Failure to do so can provoke the UN to adopt Chapter 7, Article 42 of its Charter. and authorize military action to maintain and restore international peace and security. This will legalize conduct of U.S. drone operations in Afghanistan. However, currently, U.S. does not have this authority. There could be cooperation on certain fronts with the Taliban. U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Mark Milley recognized U.S. Taliban possible collaboration to fight ISKP. The Doha Agreement indicated a desire to maintain cooperative diplomatic ties by both sides. Taliban agreed to not allow use of Afghan soil to threaten the security of the United States. But what if they fail to do so? The U.S. might invoke the unable or unwilling doctrine that resembles its air campaign against ISIS in Syria. However, its legality is only justified in case of a direct attack on U.S. from Afghan soil. In light of this debate, what will be the future of drone strikes in Afghanistan? And how will they be justified in the pretext of international law?